top of the fucking morning you guys cancer 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 y'all are back back yet again for the bonus reading cancer and libra y'all just be showing the fuck off is y'all gonna give any other sign a chance i'm hearing no <laughs> let him go <laughs> i'm hearing somebody saying let him go <laughs> like let them readings go like don't be trying to hold back for because some other signs don't know how to represent it click a goddamn view button they like nah i can't say like nah y'all go ahead and let them go let these readings go like it's not our fucking problem that these other signs don't want to support and motherfucking like share and subscribe let these videos go. So listen, I'm gonna let them go. I'm gonna let them show y'all. Listen, y'all know how cancers are. They stingy. They don't give a fuck about nobody else. What? What? Self-preservation, honey. Anyway, listen. Shout out to all my cancer for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Like I said, you and Libra, y'all have been showing the fuck out on the channel. And if every month, if y'all the only, you know. Uh, signs that get the bonus reading and shit then so be it look i'm good with it i'm good with it thank y'all for like sharing subscribing and supporting everyone if these videos resonate if you want to book a personal private reading you know the drill go ahead and hit that about tab my booking for um scorpion reds tarot as simply book me is in the um about tab also, if you want to book a personal and, um, I'm sorry, if you want to give a love donation, you can do so. The PayPal information is in the description section. So, you guys, let's get into the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of cancer. Thank you so much for just the overwhelming support and love. I see the camaraderie again, um, with you guys in the comment section you guys are most definitely spreading love and light to each other supporting each other as you see other people in the comment sections are at different stage in their healings or in this just love journey in general so um thank you guys for just reaching out and being supportive and understanding everyone is at a different process in the journey and sometimes some people need help because this is where you were last year and you know you know how that felt so i love the camaraderie i love the support i love the love and light that i'm seeing amongst you guys supporting each other in the comment section and cancer is continuing to grow and spread love and light and to mature so with that father god we thank you we thank you for them just getting to the point of awakening right now where they're able to look out and look for guidance and look for help because a lot of times the cancers they'll shell themselves up in the inside and they'll try to deal with things internally you know not really being receptive to the fact that they may need some guidance from outside sources. So thank you so much for opening up cancer that they are getting in touch with their own spirituality and also seeking other spiritual sources that is just helping and find them healing and who they are becoming in this new stage of, in 2019. A lot of you guys are becoming new people because you're not the same anymore and you are looking for spiritual guidance you are looking for spiritual help to help you navigate these rough waves that y'all are going through but y'all are like <laughs> a surfboarder like y'all are y'all are really maintaining and handling and staying on top of these waves y'all are not falling off y'all surf, surfboard falling into the water about to drown like y'all refuse y'all are getting balanced so i thank you guys for being the off oh, what, what, what are my kids be playing a subway surfer yeah thank you for being subway surfer y'all just boop, boop, y'all just jumping and y'all just y'all moving you know what i'm saying so father god thank you so much for keeping that steady progression for the sign of cancer have them moving forward please give them love and light and just guidance throughout the um, month of march because this is a bonus read so this is before we go into the mid-month so just give us a little sneak peek into the the mid-month reading and just overall bonus energy that we missed in uh the early march reading so father god thank you again for all the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future um please give us guidance and as you can see i don't know if y'all can see right now but i do have um, a new statue of miss yemen y'all y'all see her right here she is the goddess of the ocean and i believe a lot of um the cancer water sign females y'all are most definitely um 
becoming mother of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? You are learning how to navigate the waves of the sea of your, you know what I'm saying? Because you are a water sign, you know? So you are learning how to control your emotions and navigate those waves like flawlessly. And Yemenya is, you know, the mother to Oshun and Oya and um I forget their other sister. If you if you guys know anything about um what's it called? Yoruba. I believe that's what it's called. I am learning and the craziest thing about it, my best friend um knows all about the Yoruba culture and everything like that. She's been teaching me this shit since I was in fucking middle school. But I was just I'm gonna be honest, I was too ignorant to understand and learn like African culture. Um, Oshun, she's the goddess of love and beauty. Yemiya is her mom, you know? So if y'all don't know who these um, African goddesses are, y'all might need to research them because I feel like it might give you some insight as to your progression and where you are right now because Oshun, she went through a whole lot and my flame just went out. Oshun went through a whole lot and throughout her journey, she still managed to still keep love in her heart no matter what people did to her, no matter how, how many people talk shit about her, no matter what she did to help other people that shitted on her. Even after people shitted on her, she still had enough heart, um, enough in her heart to reach out and help people after they shitted on them. And they still didn't believe in her. And the gods had to come and make them show Oshun respect. Because at the end of the day, what's that saying? You going to need me before I need you. Laugh now, cry later. So that's what a lot of you guys are going through. And throughout this self-love journey, you know what I'm saying? You're learning that you are loved. You know what I'm saying? Spiritually. And y'all are not looking for love from outside sources from people anymore. It's about a self-love right now. And it's about a spiritual love. And you just feeling that, that guidance. What is this? Balance. <laughs> Balance. Balance. So right now, throughout this time, you guys are worried about your balance right now. And you are not allowing any goddamn thing to get you off of track. Like I said, you guys are soaring. You guys are elevating. You guys have learned a lot of lessons and you guys have changed a whole lot. And it says... Take time to relax, indulge a little more or less, set boundaries with your work. All right, so this is what I'm getting because I know in the past there was a lot of talk about cancer and their drinking habits, okay? So this is about balance right here. This is about balance and you guys turning up or turning down a little bit certain things because if you have been indulging a little bit too much in the drinking you may need to chill out or substance abuse period you may need to chill out and for the ones that have just been going through this self-revision stage you've completely looked at everything on your list and you've removed things that just don't apply to who you are anymore you're adding new stuff and you possibly might be working too hard because you just got yourself out of a situation that might have put you in a financial rut and you're just like, I'm determined to make this. I'm determined to make it by myself. And right now, you are working on this balance and God wants you to know like this new beginning is coming. This comfort, the happiness, the joy is coming. Just relax. You can't overwork yourself to a point of exhaustion because then you won't be able to enjoy the blessing it's time to relax you've done enough work take some time and get your energies balanced because if you if you just exhaust all your resources you know what i'm saying your internal resources you won't have the energy to implement it once this new beginning, this new sun starts to shine, you know? So you guys have to get that balance. It's time to relax. Indulge a little bit more or a little bit less. So for the ones that have not been overindulging, it's time for you to indulge, to relax. Go and get you a mani and pedi. Go out to a lounge or something, listen to some music. I feel like music is the soul to y'all's heart, like for real, for real. Go out and listen to some music. 
Go and enjoy being with your friends. Don't sit in the house like my whole thing. Don't sit in the house looking like, okay, that's what I need to do to relax. You've been keeping yourself secluded from the world. I really do feel like a lot of cancers have been keeping themselves secluded from the world. Go out and see the sunshine. What is this? The message of water. Yeah. So you guys have not been, you know, receiving a lot of communication in regards to love. And I feel like that's bothering you. Because. Three of fire. You guys are just waiting for y'all's ship to sell in. For y'all's ship to come in. The four. The four swords. Yeah. Y'all are done with the healing. Okay. 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 So this is what I'm getting. You guys are trying to find the balance, like I said. And through doing that, because you're doing that, because you have you you've been focusing on you getting balance and things like that, I feel like you've been blocking a lot of communication and people trying to holler at you in regards to like the romance thing. I don't feel like that is where Cancer's mind is right now. Your mind is like on getting your shit together and you've just been patiently waiting for your ship to sail in so that you can move forward. Um, I can even see that you guys are possibly waiting for the time to communicate to someone that this ship has sailed like you're moving on and like I feel like you might be waiting on the correct time to communicate to someone that you don't love them anymore. Yeah, you don't love them anymore because I see you trying to find a way to sneak up. You trying to find another way to kind of sneak out of a situation. It's something that you've been spending a lot of time on. A lot of time on. And you have literally been plotting and waiting for your escape because this is someone ready to move on. Like, they don't... There's nothing left for them right now where they're at. Like... They sent a bird out and they're just waiting for some communication to come back. But the communication that came back said, like, right now is not the time to make a move right now. And I honestly believe it's because, like, for some reason, Cancer feels like they got to figure out a different approach mentally to, to, to kind of slip their way out of the situation. Like, whoever that they're dealing with, whoever they're dealing with, I feel like Cancer might have possibly still been in the situation like y'all could have possibly still been dating or maybe you still live with this person and i just see you if y'all lived with each other i just see cancer being very just mentally not there in this situation like maybe y'all just walk around each other y'all don't talk to each other much like you are in a complete self seclusion you know y'all you will keep yourself secluded mentally from whoever that you were with because you were trying to like I said get this balance get your thought together get some healing it was like a lot of internal digging and soul searching that was going on there and you could have even been you know how a cancer is a cancer will wall you the fuck out they could be there and not be there all at the same time so I feel like if you were in a relationship with someone and you're living with the person Cancer most definitely put their shell up, their armor on, and they walked this person out. Y'all barely talked to this person. Y'all walked around each other like, oh, what you what you want from the grocery store? Oh, okay, whatever. And then like, <laughs> like that's it. And like right now, Cancer has completely completed this internal transformation and this awakening and this rebirth. And they have done their internal soul searching and their work. And they know exactly what they want. And what they want is to get the fuck out of a situation. They're just waiting for a time. And they're waiting for a balance. They're waiting for the right opportunity to communicate to someone. that I don't love you anymore. This is not working. You know what I'm saying? So, I just, I don't even see. I mean, this is the messenger of water. So, this is something that is very young still. I don't necessarily think that these people have been with each other for a long time. I don't know if this is like a karmic. I don't know if this is just someone recently that you've met cancer that you were very intrigued by this person. 
at first but it just quickly fizzled like the fire that fire fizzled out and as you can see i had to relight my flame because as i was shuffling my candle went out okay and there's roses and honey and all type of beautiful stuff all up around my candle so whatever <laughs> that sugar and spice and everything nice that shit ain't there no more that candle has been blown out and you were looking for a way to get out you did your soul searching you don't want to be here no more and this is the seven of swords this is someone that is trying to sneak out without getting caught and they're not going to get caught you know how cancer can be they can be very calculating in regards to like playing mind games and manipulation on people they know how to keep their emotions hitting to a point where someone is never quite certain what they want where they're at what they're thinking and this cancer it's just like listen i want new beginnings i want balance i don't love this person anymore i feel like there's a Something in my heart is telling me right now it's not the time to leave. But I don't give a fuck about what this is saying. I don't want to be here anymore. So by any means necessary, I'm about to find a way, another way to, to, to get around this. I, I'm not I'm not letting anything stop me. I feel like Cancer has gone through their soul searching. They have developed clarity. And they just don't. They just don't. No. They don't want to be here no more. So this is the Wow Offering Oracle by Tosh Silver. Let's see what type of just spiritual messages God has for Cancer for um month in regards to this bonus reading. Please give the sign of Cancer some additional spiritual guidance. Thank you so much. Thank you. Please give Cancer guidance in regards to them trying to find this balance. I'm trying to find another approach to get out of a situation. I don't want two cards. I just need one card. Sorry. And you keep trying to give me all of these cards. No, I'm not reading all of this. Why you got all of these messages for cancer? Why you got all these messages for cancer? No, 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 no. Because every time I do cancer reading, y'all be having these ridiculous ass long readings, man. We not doing no two, three hour reading a day, but I will do that. My next bonus reading, I will do that breakdown like I did last time, okay? Gratitude. Find just one thing that you feel grateful for right now and let that gratitude pour through your body. It is a healing balm, like the warmth of the sun. So just have gratitude and be thankful for one thing, Cancer, because you know Cancer has a thing of they like quantity, not quality. Did I offend y'all? I'm sorry. Y'all know it's the truth. Y'all like quantity, not quality. The more you have, the more you feel celebrated, the more you feel loved. It ain't about the quality of people. It's the quantity. And that ain't quality. That's why you be having so much drama in your life. Find one fucking thing that you enjoy that you can appreciate and be grateful and show gratitude for it being in your life. And, and just focus on that. Focus on one thing, Cancer. That is your problem. Like, seriously, that has been the problem throughout. Ever since I started doing these readings. And what does this one say? Feelings. Emotions want to be felt. You can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear, divine, to offer all emotions to you. Feeling them fully so that you are no longer helped. Help me captive. Hmm. I'm going to read that one more time because I know my ass can't read for fuck. It says, emotions want to be felt. You really can't surrender something until you deeply feel it. Allow me, dear divine, to offer all emotions to you. Feeling them fully so they, they no longer hold me captive. You've been trying to, like I said, cancer's been walling motherfuckers out. 
they can't find just one thing or one person to love and just be grateful and just have gratitude towards that one thing. They always, and that's how they end up hurting people over and over and over again. You can't just be fucking satisfied. And y'all like to hide y'all feelings. Y'all feel like if y'all open up y'all feelings and show your feelings to somebody, like it, it's, it's like taking off your defensive armor. Ain't nobody gonna hurt you, Cancer. You hurting yourself by hurting other people by not like really being grounded and figuring out what the fuck you want. You do you not balance. You haven't been balanced. A balanced person can focus on one single thing and have appreciation and gratitude towards it and watch it flourish into something beautiful and then start another project. Once you learn how to treat and respect the one thing that you've been working on. So I'm going to set this up here because that is what this whole reading is about to be about. The, the, the center of focus of this reading is about cancer finding balance and truly like what it says to feel your feelings, to feel your emotions, feel them so they are no longer holding captive. You are holding your feelings, your feelings captive inside. That's why y'all be so fucking depressed all of the time. Cancer, tell me I'm lying. Y'all will be up here one minute, and then in the blink of an eye, you'll be down here. Like, y'all are so toxic turby with y'all emotions, because y'all be holding y'all feelings aside. Y'all scared to tell somebody how the fuck y'all feel, because y'all think y'all going, someone going to take advantage of you. Man, y'all, y'all are fucking your own self up. And you feel like, you can't, you can't never show nobody your feelings. You can't never show nobody how grateful you are for having them in your life. With joy, with pleasure, because you feel like, like I said, you letting down your fucking armor and you turn around and you disrespect these people by having someone else on the side just in case this person decides by you not showing them your feelings. And you not being grateful for everything that they do to you instead doing for you instead of you just putting your focus on them. You'll go and create another situation on the side. Because you know that you're not going to open up your feelings because you're scared. You're scared. This person's not scared. You're scared. And you just go and disrespect this motherfucker by go creating a whole nother situation and throwing it in their face. Like they don't feel it. You think your lack of feelings towards them, you think that these people that's been, that you should be grateful to have in your life, you think that they don't feel that shit? That they don't feel you walling them out. They don't feel you disrespecting them. They don't feel you setting up shop somewhere else so you don't have to open up your feelings to them. Like, what the fuck type of shit is that, Cancer? And I don't mean to get in y'all shit, but y'all already know me. Like, I keep telling y'all I'm not here to pussyfoot and pussy willow around with y'all. If y'all looking for someone to smooth shit out and give y'all... Perfect, nice readings full of daffodils and dandelions and motherfucking unicorn magic dust and shit and not keep it real with y'all. Unsubscribe or find another fucking subscribe, uh, find someone else to subscribe to. I'm not here for it. I'm here to help y'all grow. And some of y'all need tough fucking love and y'all need to hear this shit because I'm not saying nothing that's not the fucking truth. Because here y'all again trying to sneak out of a situation instead of addressing it. Address it. Stop trying to find a way to sneak out. That's all y'all do. Y'all sneak around. Y'all some sneaky ass motherfuckers. Y'all don't never want to face y'all feelings and tell motherfuckers how y'all feel. And if y'all feeling good or y'all feeling bad, y'all never want to fucking address y'all shit. And y'all just find ways to sneak and maneuver away. And then y'all wonder why y'all karma be so fucked up. You ever thought to think about why my karma is so fucked up? Why this bad shit keep happening to me? I don't know if this is cancer in this energy or if this is a cross watcher, watcher in this energy. This could be a female or a male. However it fits, it fits. But if this is you, be honest and truthful with yourself. You're not going to find balance until you look at yourself in a fucking mirror. I, I, don't, know how to, I, I don't know how to keep it. One, I don't know how to be... Any more blunt with you. Alright, so this is the um the rebel deck for couples. So let's see what type of energy they got for couples. And then I'm gonna pull a rebel card for the singles too. Cause I'm sorry, cause cancer be always having a whole bunch of shit going on with y'all. Give me some guidance. Uh this fell out right on the floor. 
fucking say it. That the like I just said, however you're feeling, fucking say it. Resentment kills the magic. Do you Y'all get on my fucking nerves, bruh. God, y'all get on my nerves. Why y'all get on my nerves so much? Didn't I just say this shit? Y'all be walling in y'all feelings. Y'all be walling people out because y'all don't want to address y'all feelings. Man, resentment. And, 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 and that's how y'all go and y'all set up shop somewhere else. Y'all holding y'all feelings. And y'all don't tell people what y'all feeling and what y'all thinking. And then y'all sit there and just hold resentment for people. And instead of you just opening up your mouth and saying how you feel, you'll go and set up shop somewhere else. Like, that's some fuck shit, y'all. That's some real fuck ass shit. That's some fuck ass shit. And y'all, y'all going to... Y'all gonna learn. Like I said, karma is a bitch that wear Prada. She got expensive ass taste. Y'all are gonna learn the hard fucking way because the Lord is going to balance your ass. You gonna learn to stop doing shit like this to people because you gonna get exactly what the fuck you be giving out. The one that you, when, when you finally felt like, see this is the thing, this is how karma work, baby. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, Karma is a bitch that wear Prada. She has very expensive taste, y'all. Y'all have to be careful of who you playing with. When you truly find change and you really do find that transformation and you finally feel like you got it all together, that same energy that you put out, the universe is going to put it right back to you. And then y'all going to be sitting back crying, thinking y'all a fucking victim and shit like that. But no, y'all didn't give a fuck about how y'all was treating people when they was in love with you. And they weren't, and you weren't grateful for the love and the respect and the honor and just the commitment that they were giving you. You can open up your, your mouth and let people know how you were feeling, right? You all motherfuckers out of you set up shop somewhere else. Right? That's what that what that's what cancer do, right? But when it got, when it comes back around, y'all wanna cry. Oh my god. Y'all cut that bullshit out. It's for the singles. Stop sleeping so damn much. <laughs> I told y'all y'all singles, y'all been staying secluded to yourself. Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You are missing some cool shit. For y'all cancers that have been hurt from somebody. Okay? And a lot, and I feel like a lot of y'all might have been de dealing with a Scorpio. Because I'm hearing, I'm hearing Scorpio in my head. I ain't do nothing to you. Don't be saying nothing about me. It's like I'm playing. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And the next card said, what the fuck are y'all waiting for? Get that shit done. Like, whatever the fuck it is. Because, like, I feel like y'all want to come outside. Y'all want y'all want more vibrancy in y'all life. Y'all want to explore more. Y'all want more. But it's just like, y'all just are scared to come out. Y'all are scared to come out for some reason. And mm, I feel like cancer feel like somebody's going to hurt them again. And I don't think that that's the case at all. Like, you've gone through your period of self-discovery. You are not the same person that you are any that you were anymore to allow people to come through and hurt you like that. So, stop sleeping so much. Stop staying in so much. Stop secluding yourself from the world and come out and enjoy life. Don't let people hurt you and keep you walled up inside where you're not able to experience the growth and experience the joy and you see the butterflies like you had for these single cancers that been through a breakup and y'all have released yourself from this energy you have found the balance and there is new beginnings that's why you see those butterflies there and that unicorn has them their wings is ready to soar but you have to you have to you have to stop working so hard i feel like you've been drowning yourself in work The hermit. Mm-hmm. I'm taking that for the one that's fucking sad. The hermit, y'all have been, like I said, Ace of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Y'all want a new beginning. Y'all don't want to be in this situation anymore. The star. Well, first off, what came out was that Knight of Wands. And I told y'all y'all was dealing with a Scorpio. 
Mm -hmm. So to clarify the cup, the the couple's card, the fucking say it, resentment kills the magic. So this is what is clarifying this card, okay? You guys, like I said, y'all are on hermit mode. You are not speaking to this person that you are with. You are not expressing any emotions. You are completely going through your self-discovery phase. Like, you guys are going through a self-discovery, self-transformation. And what is going on? Okay. You are going through a self-discovery, a self-transformation. And... Oh, and, and I just want to say something real quick, not to interrupt y'all meeting, but if y'all book a reading with me, I only do video chats. And if I'm communicating with you guys to link up with you guys for your readings, I do not do refunds, okay? So it's your responsibility to communicate with me and make sure that you do what I'm asking you to do to, so we can have the reading because there's this one person I've been trying to communicate with them for the past 24 hours to give them their reading and they are not been communicating so there are other people that are trying to book i'm not going to hold up other people waiting for someone that doesn't want to communicate when you're ready to communicate with me and you want to do your video chat i only do video chats then we can do it i do not offer refunds okay and you have to communicate and be responsible in regards to making sure that you get your reading otherwise i'm gonna move on Okay, so that was just my alarm for me to try to reach out for the third time to this person. Trying to connect with them for their reading. After this third time, when I get off of this reading with y'all, I will not be reaching out for any more communication. So if that's your loss of money, that is on you. Okay, if you don't want to get on video and do my video chat. You have any to send me $10 more to pay for an add-on so I can do a private YouTube upload. Other than that, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay? So, I'm not going to bend and change my rules for doing my um, personal readings for nobody. Either you roll with how I'm rolling. If you don't feel comfortable with getting on screen and doing otherwise. How y'all going to see the, the, the cards if we don't do a video chat? I can't. I could just, for a phone reading, if y'all are not seeing what I'm doing, I could pick up the phone and just tell y'all anything. You see what I'm saying? So, I have a certain quality and a certain standard for my readings. I do not bend, break, or fold for nobody. Either y'all roll with me or I'm going to roll on. So, I'm going to continue on with the reading, okay? And like I said, for this person that I'm referring to, I'm going to reach out one more time to you. If there is no response for you, from you, after 24 hours, I'm moving on. And that's that. So, like I said, for... The fuck it just said, you guys are in hermit mode. You have walled this person out and you don't want to deal with them. You have been focused on a new beginning. Like I said, you guys have already been thinking and trying to figure out <laughs> ways to kind of sneak around and get your ass out of this situation without causing a whole bunch of drama. And it's not that Cancer is trying to be mean and trying to be sneaky. They really just don't want to hurt this person's feelings. And that's really what it's all about. Cancer don't really want to open up and tell people how they feel because they really don't want to hurt these people's feelings. The fire is gone. Like, the thrill is gone. Okay, this is the Knight of Wands. Cancer has got what they wanted. There's no more spark there. There's nothing interesting there. I mean, they got their nut and they ready to go. I mean, that's, the knight. that's what the Knight of Wands do. They in and out, right? They really didn't have any intentions of staying there forever. Cancer is focused on their star player. And their star player is fucking them. Okay? They have a lot of faith. They have a lot of just... They're inspired about the future, about something new. That's that Knight of Wands. They are already excited. They're always excited about finding something new. They are never thrilled with staying stagnant in something that is just still and mundane. Like, after they open up the bag of chips and they done had about four or five chips, it's like, okay, I already done tasted that. I heard there's a new flavor out on the market. What's popping? I'm about to go walk to this other store. I heard that they only got that shit at the Quick Mart. So they about to walk to the Quick Mart. You know what I'm saying? Fast and furiously. They want something new. They heard of something else popping at the Quick Mart. So their star player is them. You understand what I'm saying? Like, the only thing Cancer gets excited about is them and them growing in new <laughs> magical ways. They're not. They are their own star player. Okay? And that's why they're just like, listen, Linda. Belinda, 
Okay? Let me talk to Belinda. Belinda the ghetto one. Okay? Belinda the ones from the hood. Belinda know what's popping. They just like, listen, Belinda, like, I just ain't feeling it no more. Like, you know, it was cool and everything, but yeah, I just went in this. It's just, yeah, it's just, yeah, I don't want to do this no more. I don't want to do this no more. Belinda, like, all right, nigga, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you when the click you came, okay? Tch. Fuck you. <laughs> so crazy like i'm honestly getting it like once cancer come out and say it like listen i don't i don't want to be with you no more i don't want to be with you no more i just want in this shit this person like i don't want to be with you neither fuck you <laughs> and that's what it's gonna be that's why i'm just like it'll be just easier for cancer to just say it just say it like don't say like oh i got my nut off type of shit like don't say it like that but just let them know like we just not on the same page no more. Like the fame, like the thrill is gone. Like you feel it, I feel it. It's just dull. It's just we just need to move on. And and the person is going to say the feelings is mutual. And it might not end off as bad as you think it is. I don't think you're going to hurt the person as much as you think you're going to hurt the person. Cancer, just be honest and say it. I don't really think that you have to. That's in the pinnacles in reverse. Um. I feel like you guys are working hard because y'all are y'all y'all are moving. Y'all are moving, but y'all are still too busy focusing on the past. That's why y'all sleeping so much and y'all keeping yourself and y'all still crying over some shit in the past. That's all. That's all you got. Okay. Okay, girl, boy, whoever you is, listen, where I'm going to put these cards at? I got so many damn decks. How many decks I got? Out? One, two, three, four. I got eight, nine decks out here, y'all. So this this going to be long. So listen, in regards to stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. You're letting your life pass you by sitting up here. Just like healing and worry about your feelings your your injured feelings and stuff like that okay there's been a complete ending there's been a divorce there has been a complete destruction and end into a foundation a family foundation so a lot of you guys have divorced you guys have broke up y'all have gone separate ways a lot of you guys were in a committed relationship where y'all lived with each other i don't necessarily see children there but i definitely know that y'all lived with each other and you guys have been going through that separation phase of moving to a new location so i really do feel like right now you guys are getting so much sleep because i feel like you guys are in a new place you guys might have moved and you're in a new apartment or something like that. And I feel like you're trying to just get adjusted to where you're at. Like, I feel like y'all lost everything. Y'all lost everything. This apartment that y'all shared. Like, even down and splitting up furniture and things like that. I feel like... I honestly feel like y'all might have left a lot of shit behind. Because you're just like, man, I don't even want that furniture. I don't want none of that shit that I used to share with you. I don't want none of that shit because it makes you think too much about the, the, the love and the life that y'all used to share. That that was over. And, and y'all feel like it was just a complete waste of time and a waste of energy. It's like all these years y'all could have been with this person for 10 years. 10 years of my life was wasted down the fucking drain. The only thing I got left is to, to show from this is a fucking couch. I don't even want this fucking couch no more. Only thing it does is trigger me to make me think back to the fucking past. And I feel like y'all just been staying in the house goddamn depressed. Because it's just like, you just feel like no one is coming to offer you anything. But no one is coming to offer you anything is because y'all been sitting in the fucking house drinking, nursing your fucking pain. That's why it's telling you, indulge a little bit more or less, okay? So you guys have been numbing yourself in alcohol and or substance abuse. Sitting in the house by yourself, 
drinking some wine, watching TV. Like, y'all just don't want to be around anybody. Because y'all can't stop thinking about this past. Y'all cannot stop mourning the past. It's time for you to stop mourning the past. If you want a king, I mean, an emperor to come to your life. There is someone coming to you that is going to be number one most important thing to y'all. Is someone that's going to protect you. Have your fucking back. That's the thing, because I feel like in the relationship that y'all were in, the person that you was with did not have your fucking back. I feel like in regards to you versus the world, the world always won. You were competing. It wasn't even with just other people. You were competing with this person's job, with this person's family, with this person's friends, with this person's looks. Like this person might have spent a lot of time, especially for the men that were dealing with cancer women. You felt like, well, this bitch spent more time in the hair salon and all of this shit more than she spent with me. You want somebody that's going to hold you down and actually give a fuck about you. Girl, listen. This person is going to be the protector. This person is going to be the provider. This one is going to be the listener. This is going to be the one that's going to help the kids and do homework with the kids and do soccer or football practice and stuff. This is going to be the one, ladies, when you come home, this motherfucker might have clocked out early and came home. When you come home and this motherfucker done cooked you a goddamn meal. Okay? And I believe the emperor is what, an Aries, right? That's Aries, right? So listen... Y'all might be bumping into a fucking Aries or something like a straight boss. Like this person is a boss. This person has their own business. Like this person has their life to fuck together. And I mean two fucking together. But you're not going to find this person. And this person is not going to find you if you sit in the house sipping wine. Ain't nobody going to find you indoors. I feel like a lot of y'all been on social media and shit too. Like... Thinking y'all not gonna find nobody on social media, and if y'all think that y'all gonna find true love on social media, stop that shit. Fuck. Can't find nobody stuck in the house hitting behind a goddamn computer. Go outside and actually meet some cool people. What is this saying? Such a curious dream. Alright, so this is the Alice in Wonderland deck. It's about this crazy ass world that you're navigating right now. Such a curious dream, grounding, returning to reality, coming home. You guys are just like, I feel like you guys are living in a fantasy land right now. Especially the singles, the ones that's stuck inside. Y'all are like in a curious dream and like God is trying to tell you to come and bring it back to reality. Stop dreaming and keeping yourself secluded and not making no action. Y'all are not making action. Y'all are sitting in the house, hiding behind a fucking computer, trying to find balance. Drinking wine and shit. That ain't, that ain't it, pumpkin. That is not it, pumpkin. Let me see what this say. Such a curious dream in reverse. This means waiting... To hold on to an experience. Wait. Wanting to hold on to an experience. And not return to every day. Wishing to live in Wonderland. Rather than experiencing it. And bringing its magic into your everyday world. Becoming ungrounded and disconnected. Feeling drawn to fantasy. Being susceptible to illusions. So yeah. You guys are living in a fantasy land. In your fucking head. And I'm most definitely, this is the singles. Y'all are living in a fantasy world in your head. I feel like y'all are online. Y'all are looking at all of these memes and constantly re-reposting memes and stuff on your Instagram feed and shit about what love should be or what. Like y'all see these, y'all see this stuff online and, and it puts you in this, in, in like the Alice in Wonderland. Like y'all done fell down the rabbit hole and y'all in this dream state. But you too scared to like get out and actually ground yourself and actually implement some of that in the reality. You know what you want your life to look like. You know what you want your world to taste like, what you want it to smell like. Okay, now go out there and go get it. Go out there and go get it. Like look at her face. Like look at her face. She's just like, like seriously in a daydream state. Like you see how her eyes is glassed over like. 
like she almost wants to cry. Like, I feel like you guys, like, and I'm not to keep bringing up y'all saying drinking wine or, you know, for y'all fellas drinking some tequila or yak or whatever the fuck y'all be drinking. I honestly feel like y'all are just sitting, ab sitting about fantasizing about how this life would be telling yourself I'm never going to obtain this shit. I'm never going to get it. And like y'all just stop crying. I get so emotional about it because you want it so bad. And it's like you can't have it. If you dream it, it could become reality. Art imitates life, but you got to go and get it. You're not going to find nobody. Well, it's not that you're trying to find it. You're not going to attract what it is that you're dreaming to yourself if you stay in your house. And you're not even being grounded with what you really need to do to actually obtain it. You just sit up there wishing upon a star and shit. Hoping that. It's like you hoping that. You hoping that just by you dreaming about it. And that your faith that it's just going to come to you. And you don't have to work for it. it faith in, in, in. It don't work like that. You can't just pray, pray, pray. God, please bring this to me. But you're not doing the work. This person right here is letting their dreams manifest into reality because they're getting themselves grounded and they're attracting it to them by their vibration. Them changing their self. Not only just thinking about changing their self, really changing their self, like facing some of this shit like, okay, the sun in reverse. Yeah, it's just like, I feel like you don't really believe in yourself like... You just, you just, it's like, you are the sun. You are your own star player, for real. The Ten of Pentacles, yeah. But you have to, what is this? The Knight of Wands. Okay, now you want to be the Knight of Wands upright. And, it, and three party, Lord Jesus. You just want to celebrate and drink more, oh, Lord Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right, so listen. <laughs> I just, I, I, I. <laughs> Ooh, my gosh my god okay listen cancer it's like <laughs> i'm sorry i can't help but laugh hold on father help me god help me god okay so listen it's like okay <laughs> y'all just want to live in this fantasy land i don't really feel like y'all are ready to do the work that it's just like y'all just want someone to hand it to you you don't really see what you have to do to it's like you're intentionally being blinded to what it is that you got to do it's just like i just want to live up here in this fantasy land like it'll come to me eventually i'm too tired i don't want to do the work i just don't want to do it like, i just don't i feel like y'all are like a spoiled ass baby you know what i'm saying because in the sun car it's like a child on there it's like a baby you know and they're just out there skipping in the sun like oh i'm just having such a good time i'm enjoying my life this isn't that and in this side of the car that sun in the reverse i'm taking it like being a spoiled baby that just crying like i want milk <laughs> but it's like people are coming to you like what are you crying for but you just crying and not telling people why you crying Come on. Why are you just going to sit there and cry and not tell people what the fuck you cry? How somebody going to help you if you don't know how to communicate and don't know how to shine the light so that people can help you? Do you feel what I'm saying? It's like you don't want to grow up almost. You just want someone to hand it to you without you doing the work. You don't really want to shine the light on what you need to do. You just want this Ten of Pentacles and you just want to be able to rest easy just knowing that it's coming to you. You know, and it's like. You, uh, oh my gosh. It's just, you just. You don't want to see what you need to do to change. You just want it to be handed to you. You don't really want the grounding. You still want to come and go as you please with that with that knight of swords. I mean with that with that knight of wands. You just want to come and go, come and go as you please. And <laughs> you just want to come and go as you please and you just want to have fun. Like you don't 
it's like cancer just wants to come and go as they please they just want to celebrate drink have fun and party with people they want to know that they can come home and rest easy knowing that they have a solid foundation at home and just go and do what they want to do like they don't want to grow up like i don't want to grow up i want to be a toys of us kid like that's it like y'all just y'all don't want to grow you want to do what you want to do and know that you can come home and have a solid foundation and go out and play and do what you want to do. Like, that's just what cancer wants to do. <laughs> I just, I don't even know what the fuck else to say about that one. Like, what else, what else can you say about that? Because I'm, because y'all not about to irritate me. I'm about to just... <laughs> Do a few more quick sprays for y'all. And I'm getting the fuck up out of here before y'all make me Kirk the fuck off. I don't, I don't even like that shit. Like, what you mean? Like, I just want to know I can come. After I just, look. After I just been passionately running around about the street. Just doing whatever I want to do. Playing around, enjoying myself with all of these people. I just want to know that I could just come home to something solid and sturdy. And just like, I want to come home to a family environment. And be able to just chill out and relax and rest. Fuck you. Fuck you. You don't want to see that this shit ain't right? You don't want to see that this shit ain't cool? Seriously? You think this shit is cool? Fuck you. Fuck you. That's why I'm trying like, the one that is in the relationship, that's, like, just say it. Be honest with motherfuckers. Just say that this is who you are. Say that shit. Stop getting in fucking relationships with people if this what the fuck you want. There ain't nobody going to let you just ride around the town, riding around and just getting it. I'm riding around and I'm getting it. Ain't nobody going to let you ride around and getting it, having fun with all of these people. Like, you want to reunite and you want to celebrate and you want to have it the fuck up with all of these different women or all of these different men going to all of these bars and y'all just want to be a star. Y'all just want to do it, and y'all just want to come back and just, y'all want somebody, see, this is someone that wants somebody at home waiting for them. They're still going to cook for them, they're still going to clean for them, that's going to wash their dirty ass drawers, and they can just come home and relax after a hard day of play. Fuck you. Fuck you. I don't know if, if this is my cross watchers, and if this, this, is, the, this is the cancer in this energy, I'm, I'm saying, cross watchers, y'all want me to say it for y'all? Fuck you, cancer. Whoever this cancer is, that's like this, fuck you. Let me, let me be the one to say it for the cross watchers. Fuck y'all. Because this cross watcher's been trying to find balance. This cross watcher is the one that's been trying to take time and relax. This cross watcher is the one that you didn't show gratitude and you were holding your feelings back from this person. And they had to start over completely new. They had to start over completely new. They had to go find new houses. They had to completely start their life over. Because all you trying to do is sneak out of this situation to set up shop somewhere else. Because you don't already set up shop somewhere else. Cancer are not just going to sneak out and leave it unless they got something. Experiments. Manipulations of nature. Force and change. Cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge. Arrogance. Y'all are some fucking... I, ooh. But fucking D. But D boy. Let me read this shit. Because I feel like y'all need to hear exactly what this shit say. So y'all can get some checking. Y'all... some Whoever's in this energy, y'all need to get fucking checked, yeah. Because y'all y'all keep on experimenting with people. Listen. Y'all cannot keep experimenting, playing with people fucking hard. Let me see if this one's going to make me feel better. Okay, I done laid my dick in it. It felt warm. It felt gushy. Uh, but it felt like the way... No, no. I felt this before. I ain't interested. Next. Go stick your dick in something else. Like I said, this cancer, whoever this cancer, they just they, they just experiment with whatever is being offered to them. I don't even think that this motherfucker have a type. This person will fuck anything. Anything. A very low vibrational motherfucker... Just following the dark night of their soul just to see. <sighs> nah. It says message. Manipulation of nature. Force and change. Cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge. Arrogance. It says the mermaid sings. We are concerned. We are concerned that we are seeing the errors of pride, hubris, 
arrogance repeating itself in this time. We are concerned that the terrible experiments that occurred in Atlantis were, what is this? The Lemurians were modified against their will are being repeated. We are concerned. We see you taking the cells of one form and attaching them to another, stitching life forms without choice to each other. And breeding forms you think will be useful. Introducing species into environments. Multating and twisting and ultimately hurting creatures and yourself and this planet. Power and enslavement are these experiments on animals, on sea creatures who are haunted. On people to change their shape. To look as though they do not age to enlarge a part of the body and to carve away another what is it you are doing why we can call on you now to understand your own beauty and the perfection of all that is nature stop the cruelty ask yourself look around empathize or you will do it again you would change the very nature of the world because you thought your arrogant quest was noble. Does it sound like the cancer y'all have been dealing with? <laughs> a two. It's like a tapestry. It's like a string of just fucking fucked up tapestry. They sneak away from one thing that is no longer benefiting them because they have sucked all of the resources and got everything and manipulated and mutated every person that they've come into their life they never leave the same they're damaged they're damaged and they leave them behind and then they just take this little string and then they sew it into the next person and then the next person and then the next person just leaving this tangled web of debauchery not even realizing how you and your dark narcissistic arrogant idiotic ass fucking energy is like literally tainting the world around you and everyone that comes near you that much of a fucking narcissist let me finish reading this shit that's why i said let me read this shit because i feel like somebody needs to get checked and there's a book going check your ass okay stop the cruelty ask yourself look around empathize or you will again do it again will change the very nature of the world because you thought your arrogant quest was noble. Our tears fall unnoticed into the ocean. These motherfuckers don't even care about who they hurt, how they're hurting, or how many tears the people that they left behind have cried. Like I said, karma is a bitch that wears Prada. There will be hell to pay for all of the tears. All of the tears of everyone that you've hurt. Our tears fall unnoticed into the ocean and you continue. But not you who received this card. You have spoken up and we know you will just by self-love, kindness to animals and sea creatures and activism bring about change through your compassionate actions. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. You, the person that has been on the receiving end of this idiocracy, you are the one that, oh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. That's why you've been keeping yourself hitting. The, 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 this person right here that's been sleeping so much, that's why you've been sleeping so much. This person has hurt you to your fucking core. Core. You're not the only person that this person is hurt. This person is shape-shifted and manipulated people and mutated people from their original form. These beautiful fucking creatures. This idiot, this dark, 
fucking arrogant piece of shit ass person has hurt so many people that they've ended up wounded and not even the same. But what I want you to know, the person that they that this book is saying, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for speaking up for yourself, for standing up for yourself. You stood up for yourself and you removed yourself from this situation you found balance and i know you guys have been drinking a little bit y'all have been numbing yourself i understand it is time to completely detox and cleanse yourself from doing that do not destroy your body and yourself because of a fucking idiot like this this is a fucking idiot an idiot i'm sorry y'all i'm angry this person doesn't want to change y'all you are an experiment just like everyone else in the past. Ooh, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Ooh. Y'all hear my girl in the back? Look. I wish I didn't care. Oh, you've been everywhere. Then I wish I didn't care. Listen, y'all gotta stop caring. This motherfucker's been everywhere, and this person will continue to be everywhere. There is darkness and light in this world. There is a place for motherfuckers like this in the world and in the spiritual world. This person answers to somebody that you don't even want to know. God, oh my God. Whoo. God help me, spirit. Ooh, 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 And you see how this person, this person might still be calling. You see how he's reaching his hand out to this beautiful person? This person is still calling for you because it's still something from you that they want. It's still something from you that they gathered. They're not done yet. They're not done. You continue to block this motherfucker out. Do not let this person continue to come through and suck and take your life from you. Ugh. This person just, ooh. And I already told you the three of cups is right there. You know this person got other people. You know it. This person just wants to. This person just wants you to be the dumb motherfucking laying back at home for whenever they finish being out in the streets doing whatever the fuck. They just want you to sit at home and just be there. The Ace of Coins. It's a new beginning. There's a brand new beginning. Something solid. Something new. You got the key to this. This King of which is King of Swords. This person is never going to tell you the truth. This never person. This person is never going to be truthful. This person doesn't. The High Priestess. Yes. This person is is sneaky. This person is manipulative. It's, the Ace of Swords. Yes. This. This person controls you by hiding truths to you, by always keeping you. Okay. Y'all are, at the end, y'all are cutting this motherfucker out. This person, this person wants, this person sees that you are going for new beginnings. You, this person knows what your energy, because your energy is changing. You're finding balance in dark idiotic evil motherfuckers like this they can source out people's light you see they don't have a light they don't have a sun they don't vibrate in a high frequency so what their thing is because they're low vibrational fucking toxic <sighs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. i'm sorry y'all oh i'm sorry my stomach is it, it, burning me it's burning me this motherfucker doesn't have a light. They seek your light. They know that you have new beginnings coming towards you because they can smell it. Okay? They smell it. They smell the faith on you. They smell the happiness. They smell the growth. They smell the prosperity and they don't want you to get ahead of them. <laughs> They don't want you to get ahead of them. That's why this bitch is calling you back like, hold on, where the fuck are you going? Where are you going? I'm not done with you yet. Oh, you think you was about to get away from me and be happy. Oh, I want that happiness too. I want it too. Don't leave me. Let me come and try to, you know, sweeten up the pot. Let me try to pour a little milk and honey with a little bit of arson in it. That you don't smell the arson. 
You don't smell the arson. I'm I'm just I'm just going to sweeten it up to make I'm going to sweeten it up to make you believe that it's something that it's not. Cuz I want everything. I want everything that you want and more. I want everything that you're going to get and more, okay? I am never the king of swords in reverse. I am never going to elude to what is really going on, to who I really am. See, that's who I am. I'm a cheater. I like to take my sword and plunge it in people's hearts. And I don't give a fuck. This is a cold, icy cold motherfucker. This person doesn't give a fuck about who they hurt. They don't care about who they lied to. They don't care about who they mentally manipulate. They're a master at this. They are a king at their trade. They have perfected this crap. They don't give a fuck about you. This person calls you a bitch. This person is verbally abused. This and this is their form of control. Because if they make you feel low, they if they keep you feeling low, you're always going to try to climb up to feel worthy of them. They keep you beneath them. You always got something to aspire to. <laughs> Oh, the high priestess in reverse. Yeah, this is a sneaky, sneaky trickster, manipulator. This person is not beneath pulling into their trick bag of magic and manipulation. <laughs> I'm surprised I don't see the magician out here. This person is very sneaky. And if this is a cancer fear, if this is a as if this is a male, cross-watching male that is in rela in relate in relation to a cancer female that they feel like, and I'm not saying all cancer females, I'm saying in particular if there's a cross-watching male and they have been dealing with a sneaky cancer female that they think has been hiding shit from them and has been trying to manipulate them and has been doing some underhanded shit possibly feeling like this person might have done something might have went to someone fucking around with your energy where you feel trapped and bounded to this person like you can't even get away and you don't know why you can't get away yeah the high priestess in reverse this bitch is not beneath putting some spells and shit on you okay no 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 this person does not want you to see the truth. This, not, this person does not want you to cut them out. Because this person wants to continue to rule over you. They don't want you to see the truth. They don't want you to see who they really is. They don't love you. This is the two of cups in reverse. They don't love you. They just love what it is of you that they're trying to obtain. Okay? They don't fucking love you. It's the four swords. All right? You need to go through a point right now where you have gone through a self-discovery. You have gone through, like, really discovering self. You need to nurture yourself. And you need to be able to go through that process and come out swinging with four swords. Because you're going to need that armor to protect yourself. Okay? Because I don't see this person just easily allowing you to let, allowing you to leave. You see this? <laughs> this person has been through so much. And I did, and this is some headphones. I feel like this looks like a pair of headphones over her goddamn head. I feel like you guys have been, the person on the receiving end, you guys have put some headphones on. I don't even. I feel like you guys have been spiritually cleansing yourself. And you got that one foot on. You got that one shoe on. It's like, yeah. As soon as I get out this this tub, I ain't. I don't want there to be no delay. I want to throw one just one shoe on. Hop up, hop up and go. You got your eyes closed. You're focused on your spiritual healing and growth. And you got your headphones on. Like you're blocking out everything that this motherfucker has to say. You don't want to hear it. Because you don't want to let it get in your mind and fuck your mind up and pull you back. Pull you backwards. And that's why right now you are like, listen. 
I done cleanse myself off. I done wipe myself off. This person don't love me no more. I know this person never loved me. I know this person will never tell me the truth. This person is hiding a lot of fucking secrets. And they try to control me by lying to me and mentally manipulating me. And I want a new beginnings. I'm not coming out this motherfucker on no bitch shit. I'm coming out this motherfucker swinging. I'm coming out this bitch swinging because I've had my internal healing. I've had my internal growth. And yes, I'm still keeping myself secluded from this motherfucker. All right. You still on your hermit shit. I've done my self discovery. I'm coming out my, with my sword swinging and I'm still keeping myself removed from you. Removed from you and from anybody else because I don't feel like I'm ready. I don't feel like this person has gone through this journey with this cancer and or if this is the cancer that has gone through this on the receiving end from someone else. Y'all are not ready to go out in the war and date and deal with people because you too busy cutting motherfuckers heads off and getting motherfuckers out of the goddamn way. Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Come on. Get out the way. Where my new Orleans people at? Get out the way, bitch. Get out the way. Y'all are motherfucking off with her hat. Y'all off some queen, some red queen shit off of the Alice of Wonderland. Off with her head. Off with her motherfucking head. Like drop red, like drop dead Fred. All right, I'm about to pull out this deck. I haven't even used this deck yet. So this is going to be my first time using this deck. Because I, I don't know why y'all cancer reading. Y'all all fucking ways do this shit to me, y'all. Y'all always do this shit, y'all. God. Oh. Father God, please give some healing heart chakra balance here for whoever this person is dealing with the cancer and or the cancer. Oh. God, why y'all irritate me so? New vitality. Boom. New vitality. Y'all hear that shit in the background? Cranes in the sky? Look. Sometimes I don't want to... What she said? Metal clouds, girl? Look. There's some hard-ass motherfucking clouds that's been raining down on y'all. Listen, y'all been going through some shit. Y'all have been soaring like a fucking crane. You guys have been experiencing all of the colors of the rainbow. I think that y'all are able to live in color right now. You guys are able to. Y'all have this balance and this new vitality. Y'all heart chakra is living in colors right now. Y'all are cutting motherfuckers out. Y'all are, y'all are, I think y'all are finally seeing the big picture as to who this motherfucker really is. This is who you've been dealing with. Do y'all see this? Do y'all see that? I want y'all to really see that. And I hope y'all seriously watch this whole fucking video. Because I am sick to my fucking stomach. Like, I have an anxiety ridden feeling in my fucking stomach. And I hope that y'all are just as sick as I am. I hope y'all are sick of sick. Y'all stop fucking up y'all body. Stop drinking. If y'all are going out celebrating with y'all girls or y'all dudes or y'all celebrating from releasing yourself... Because you have this whole new vital beginning. Like I said, new beginning. Y'all gotta cut motherfucker's head off first. Cut that bitch head off. Watch that motherfucker roll across the ground. Okay? Watch it roll across the motherfucking ground. Off with our head. The fuck out of here. Okay? Because your new beginning is not going to start until you get this motherfucker out of your place, out of your space. Listen, you going to hear the music. You understand? What's that number up there? One, me, myself, and I. This is new beginnings. You are creating new beginnings. This is about leadership. You are driven. You are the original Dandada. Nah, fuck nigga want to romp with me. Nobody want to romp with you. You are the original Jamaican Dandada, okay? I'm reloaded. Boom. We up out of here, y'all. We fucking reloading, bitch. It's about new beginnings. And watching motherfuckers' heads roll, motherfucker. Shake, rattle, and roll them bitches. Who the fuck y'all is out here? We What? Who in the fuck is y'all out here? Okay? The king and queen of swords. Okay? So if y'all didn't know, y'all know now. 
Y'all know these motherfuckers is full of shit. They ain't about no truth. And in your most nastiest form. Because these motherfuckers in the reverse can also mean that this is a cancer man or a cancer female that tapped into their, le their negative king and queen of swords vibration and y'all cutting motherfuckers out. And y'all are doing it without a fuck in this world. I mean, without a fuck. Y'all don't give a fuck about how anybody feel about it. You're done. You're done. You're over with. You're canceled, bitch. You're canceled. I'm on some new shit. Oh, well, honey, I feel beautiful. I feel refreshed. I feel new. I feel renewed. I hope y'all feel this energy, y'all. I hope y'all feel this energy and y'all like the way this ended off. Baby. You continue. Blow the whistle. Boop, boop, boop. Blow the whistle. Uh, blow the whistle, okay? Blow the whistle. The referee has blown the whistle. Y'all time is up. The motherfuckers is being benched. I love y'all. Listen, if this video resonated, if it gave y'all insight, if it gave y'all insight and clarity, man, oh my gosh, cuz, whoo, honey, I am boiling. Whew, hit that like button, y'all. Hit that. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button. Y'all hit that like button. If y'all know anybody that needs to see this, y'all share this. Y'all forward it on. Y'all share the love and light. Because, oh, y'all share the love and light, y'all. Because some people, they need to see this, man. Because I don't, it's like, y'all, yeah, I feel like a lot of y'all keep fighting to be in somebody's life that is a devil. They, they are a devil. They are, they are like, the worst they played you like a fucking experiment an experiment how disrespectful is that how disrespectful respectful is that an experiment i want y'all to marinate on that and i want y'all to go back and i want y'all to play back when i was reading from this book what this said an experiment you were just an experiment I love y'all. Love and light. If y'all need a personal private reading, like I said, my bookings are non-refundable. Please make sure that y'all are being responsive when I'm communicating with y'all and I'm trying to communicate. If you do not want to get on camera with me for video readings, if y'all cannot see the cards, how can y'all thoroughly get the message? Do you understand? If you feel insecure about being seen i am not the reader for you guys please do not book personal private readings with me i like very confident people i don't give a fuck about how y'all look y'all want to see look i'm about to show y'all how i look on this camera right now i look a complete cluster fuck of a fucking mess look at my hair like i get on the camera looking like this i don't give a fuck about how i look or how y'all feel i'm like one of the realest people ever y'all can get on the camera with me with a bonnet on Book is in your eyes. I don't give a fuck. Only thing I'm going to tell you is, girl, go ahead and get your ass in the shower, bitch. Get your ass in the shower. Come out. Look in the mirror. Moisturize yourself with some shea butter, baby. And say, I'm pulled up pus. <laughs> and anybody that has had a personal private reading, they will tell y'all. I'm like the coolest person ever. Do not feel like you have to be perfect for me. For what? Who am I? Who am I? Okay, so I will give, I will give, like, I understand people got personal shit going on. I will give about, like, two or three days. Two or three days, that's max. If you have not communicated with me and tried to work with me in regards to booking the reading, I am moving on, okay? I only do video readings. If you want a personal reading, that well, you don't have to talk to me directly. See, that's the thing. A lot of people prefer to talk to me directly so y'all can ask questions. How are y'all asking questions and y'all being able to get, you know what I'm saying? How are y'all able to get what you paid for if it's just a direct video upload? But I understand. I, I only really typically do that for my people that are overseas. Okay? So, but if that's what y'all want, that's fine. But y'all literally have about 70 what 72 hours after that after i've tried to communicate with you like three times that's it okay so all right and i'm not trying to be mean or anything like that 
I have a business to run. So y'all have to respect my business. And y'all have to also keep in mind, there are thousands of other people that are trying to book readings with me as well. So be respectful of their time. Okay, if you're not ready for a reading, do not book no reading. If you don't want to do a video reading, do not book with me. Okay, if you do not want harsh truths, and if you have some type of feeling about your parents, don't book with me. I don't like people that are not confident. I love y'all. Love and light. I need y'all to build y'all vibration up high. Because if I can get on the camera looking like this, bro, like legitimately, come on. All right. I love y'all. Love and light. I will see y'all next week. Peace.